I just need you to promise me one thing. What's up? You're not gonna hang out with Banks anymore. Yeah, that's fine. You promise? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Nine o'clock. All right, so you missed it. So you can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> 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 Sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Welcome back to the night shift. You're working. Oh, wait. Well, welcome back to the night shift. You're working late, and so are we. It's time to clock in. There you go, boys. Yeah. All right, so I don't know how many of you guys out there follow Amara or Lana, depending on what channel you watch her on, on Twitter. Get that fucking sign out of here. I swear to God, I'll fucking trash it. But stop. Seriously, get it out of here. Take it down. Take it down. Can you see it? Yes, can you take it down, please? Right. But if you do follow her there, you may have seen some tweets this week that once again put this relationship in question. This girl just loves the fucking tweet. One of the tweets said, too worthy to be lied to. The other one, in response to someone that said, L, she has a man, said, nah, I'm single. Single? That's news to me. God dang, girl. What you trying to make him have an aneurysm or something? Good God. Babe, quit talking about me. Let's take a look at your ass. Get out of here. All right, yo, can I ask you a question? Do you love Twitter or do you love Twitter? I love Twitter whenever I hate you, which is pretty often. All right, so long story short, I went to dinner last week with Banks and Tob from Facebook. Clan. The only oh reason I God. even left the house is because Banks was coming out, so I said I'll come out for a little bit. They told me before I went there that there was gonna be girls at the dinner. I didn't see a big deal with it. Needless to say, this created a little bit of a hiccup for us. Yeah, my boyfriend ain't buying dinner and drinks for no other girls. <laughs> and so I tried to make up for it by taking her out to a nice dinner. This is actually a makeup dinner, dude. I, I made a mistake. But that dinner just wasn't enough, and so today she wants to FaceTime Banks, give him a piece of her mind, and ask for a refund on the money I spent on the girls at the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Get your fucking assistant, dude. He's trying to show me the WAP dance. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the Karen version of the WAP dance. Fuck, I'm gonna stretch a little bit. Yeah. And then what? And then shake your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what does the WAP song represent to you guys? Women empowerment to be a slut. <laughs> Make me gag, do that little thing that touches In the my back of my throat. <laughs> Wait, why do you need to be empowered to be a slut? Can't you just do that anyways? Yeah, but then you get slut shame. Like everyone's like, oh, she's such a ho, cause she like had sex with someone, but now it's I mean, like- you've been sending it this whole time, right? Not fully, Actually, but- Actually, she never gives up the cookie. Who would you say is your most ho friend? Drop her Instagram handle right now. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Hey, who are you? What do you want? I'm Amara Maple. Some of the videos that I watch online are a little... Mm, wow. Well, <laughs> I heard that you could help secure my digital identity. All right, go, ahead. go, go, go. Okay, listen up. Today's video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. PIA is the leading no-lock virtual private network and is a PC Mag editor's choice for 2020. It gives you access to over 3,000 networks in over 48 different countries, which allows you to access geo-restricted content. It also allows you to protect your identity by hiding your IP address and concealing your location and digital footprint. It also encrypts your data and keeps you away from the prying eyes of your internet provider, spammers, and hackers. You can use one subscription to protect up to 10 devices, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So listen, check out the link in the description below to get complete digital privacy for less than $3 a month, a 77% discount, and get three extra months for free. Now let's get back to the night shift, baby. Hey, what's Hello. up? Hi. What's up, Bing? So we need to have a conversation about the other night. Other I don't really appreciate you going to dinner with my boyfriend and bringing him a date. I didn't bring my date. Well, that's funny because I saw three girls and three guys, so that kind of looks like a triple date, would you say? So you need to pay him back for the other girls because my boyfriend's not buying dinner for another girl. <laughs> you guys. I accept Apple Pay if you just want to send it to my <laughs> Apple Pay. All right, send me the fucking cash app or Apple Pay. <laughs> I know it's super convenient, like, to say this. All of those girls had boyfriends, and they are our friends. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> had a boyfriend for, like, five years. Okay, babe, make sure you bleep out her name, because we're not giving her free clout. <laughs> 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 All right, so you got to talk to him. Do you feel better now? I just need you to promise me one thing. What's up? You're not going to hang out with Banks anymore. Yeah, that's fine. You promise? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> shit, let's go! Look at me, bro. I'm a fucking natural. Yo, it's been a minute. We're fucking chilling. Listen, what's grave in the Navy, little baby? It's your boy, Faze. Oh! oh! 
You should leave this with me for like a week. <laughs> what are we doing today, boys? Being an East Coast scumbag, a fellow East Coast Wendy's scumbag. Wendy's is kind of a big deal. Over Wendy's there. is a big deal. I want to a gas this. station that was connected to a Wendy's. Really? Yeah. Fire. Like, how would you, you would rank it pretty high on No, the, it's garbage. Just complete shit. Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this right now is this kid, Perry Jowsey, has never had from Wendy's before. Never. never in his life. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? That's like never having sex, bro. Where really we're bad from. sex. It's like it never. Never having really bad sex. Oh, let me, let me go. Go. That's like saying you've never fucked a hooker. That's like saying you've never fucked a hooker, bro. Today I you're haven't gonna, done that either. All right, well today you're gonna fuck <laughs> a hooker. We should handle that later. <laughs> all right, so when it comes to Wendy's, yes. there's a lot of options, all right? But the most important units, junior bacon cheeseburger, <laughs> spicy nuggets, the fries are solid, and most importantly. What is that? This is an American tradition right here. You take the frosty, the fries. It's been a minute since I've done this. Wow. Before we get too far, we also have the largest thing offered at Wendy's, the triple Baconator, dude. Like 6,000 calories. There's like an entire cow on that thing, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> Yo, should I dip this in the Frosty? Yeah, <laughs> Bring me the should, chocolate should, Frosty. Should, should. Triple Baconator chocolate Frosty. He did it. Oh my God. That's aggressive. Oh. Fire, bro. It's like when, well, it's I'll like, it. I'll do it. I'll it's do like it. sweet and salty, bro. <laughs> Bro, you see that shit? That's why Francesca don't fuck with you. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit of shit with you guys. Banks is an enigma. No one knows where he is. What is going on with you, bro? Are you? I'm going how, through some shit. I've been going through some shit for like 28 years. <laughs> Yo, but how good does it feel to have the camera back in your hand? We had Nate shot on the podcast the other day. He's like, everybody misses Banks. Bro. It's cool to do things like this because this is fun. But for just for me personally, I'm being real right now too. I'm not trying to be funny. It doesn't make me happy doing it. I don't okay, like the, the YouTube microscope. I like being in other people. people those videos though. I've always liked that. It's cool. What about streaming? I mean, God no. No. <laughs> That's even worse. That's like there's no fall safe, like <laughs> fail safe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can edit that out, but if yeah. we were streaming, it's like no. You can say all kinds of horrible I'm shit, awful. bro. I'm off. How are you adjusting to your first 15 minutes of fame here, bro? Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. It's been <laughs> a lot of fun. I've been very busy. <laughs> the craziest thing about Banks is I met him before any of this shit happened. One of the first times I met him, we're at Hyde and he had a tequila bottle, smashed it with another bottle, completely smashed the bottle in front of me and then started drinking it. And I was like, this dude's crazy. I'm always telling my girlfriend about how you're like the nicest kid, like the stand up real quiet kid. And she goes, like, Mike, the first time I met the fucking kid was at 11 in Miami. He threw up into a bottle of 1942 and threw it off the balcony into the crowd. And who has these stories, you bro? And do. honestly, like, no, I did do that. That's real. <laughs> but listen, I didn't throw it off the balcony into nothingness. There's like space between, like <laughs> under the balcony, between the couches. I like threw it behind the couches <laughs> under the balcony. You know what I mean? Uh, All right, get yourself a nugget. That barbecue. Is that enough? Both Deep? Yeah, balls deep in the nugget sauce. There you go. Mm, that's yeah. really good. Yo, what's your favorite thing about America so far? The women. I mean, the. <laughs> <laughs> He's bad, dude. Uh, He's no, a bad man. <laughs> yeah, We're bad dudes for each other. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I do that because we both like love it. Though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> listen, we live one time. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit him with. Some no, hit him with. Some no, value. seriously though, you live once. Just cream pie everyone. <laughs> Do not do that. <laughs> Alright, finish your I thoughts. backed that, by the way. <laughs> no, be happy every day. Be happy. That's if it. If you want to be a scumbag and run around a cream pie every day. <laughs> You gotta understand too, you gotta be responsible and understand that there's consequences for your fucking actions. Yeah, I is. would suggest that a crazy man lives a crazy life and a normal man lives a normal life. Ooh. And I don't want to live a normal life. I love you, bro. You like that? Yeah, I like love it. That was nice. nice. As long as this, that should be a t-shirt. Real shit though, there's so many policies and politics. If we just lived in a world where everyone was free to do whatever the fuck they want so long as they didn't hurt anybody else or fuck with anybody else's happiness in the process, you should be able to do whatever the fuck you yeah. want. That's a utopia, bro. Yeah. That's a like, perfect life. It's very, very, it's super simple. There's just too many sick people, so that'll never happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That just want to hurt other And there's people. too many Karens who see somebody having fun, see somebody doing cool shit and have like, an issue with it. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to keep eating your Wendy's, bro. Dude, I've enjoyed I've been eating while you guys talking. <laughs> Tell your girlfriend to stop sending us cease and desist forms from her lawyers. I don't know who that is. <laughs> she sent us a no cease and desist. No podcast. We had her on the podcast. I get a letter the next day from our legal team that's like, yo, we just got served. To see some assist from his girlfriend. Ex, We're talking about ex, yeah, his ex girlfriend. Ex, ex, ex. Don't get it mixed. <laughs> well, you need to behave yourself. I am. You hang out with this guy. Just cream pie everyone might not be the best policy. No, I'm not going to lie. I say that, but I don't do it. I'm looking for a relationship. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, I don't know if you guys know how hard it is for me to always clock in and out for this show. I got the sign with me. I got the buttery toast up on the balcony. Listen, I've been pulling these episodes out of my ass lately. But listen, it's gotta get done. I know you guys are at home, you're bored, you wanna watch content, you wanna stay entertained, and I'm here to do that for you. There's a lot coming up in the next few weeks, more special guests. Me and Amara are taking another romantic getaway for her birthday, which is on September 6th. Also, there's some more clothing from the night shift coming down the line. The next collection is gonna be called the Pink Mist Drop. It's absolutely fucking crazy. So yeah, keep your eyes open for all that stuff, and in the words of our good friend Banks, do whatever you can to keep yourself happy in this crazy world, and thank you so much for working late with us. We are clocking out. Peace. What's up, Mike? Ha <laughs> ha, bitch. <laughs> it's important. It's just hairy. It's bad. Dude, what the f***? No, Don't, no, no, no. You're gonna show no. them what you just did. You come into my fucking house, and you punt, you punt the LaCroix across the room. <laughs>